Base 6 Place Values In our regular place values that we use every day, we use base 10. And base 10 means that as we go to each column to the left, we multiply by 10, going that way. To the right, on the other side of the decimal point, we divide by 10. So we go from ones to tenths, because it's split into 10 parts. So 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000, and we just keep going, multiplying by 10 to get to our next place value. Well, in base 6, we multiply by 6. 1 times 6 is 6, so we have our 1's column, then we have our 6 column. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 times 6 is 216. 216 times 6 is 1,296. And 1,296 times 6 is 7,776. So, as I said before, going to the left, we're going to multiply each by 6. Going to the right, we're going to divide by 6. So we have 1 6. This would normally be where 1 tenth would be. And normally this would be where 1 one hundredth would be in base 10 that we use every day. But in base 6, it's 1 6 and 1 36th. See? We're dividing by 6. You're only allowed to put one number in each box. Just like in our base 10, you're only allowed to put one number in each place value. So, if you wanted to say the number 7, you would write it as a 1 and a 1, because you'd have a 6 plus a 1 makes 7. See? If you wanted to make 38, you would have one of these 36s, no 6s, and you would have two 1s. 36, 37, 38. It would be written as 1, 0, 2. If you wanted to have 1,297, you'd have one of these, none of these, none of these, none of these, and one of these. And you would put zeros here as the placeholder. That would be 1,297. You'd have a, a 1,296 plus one more. That's what it would look like to write 1,297. Isn't that strange? It's kind of weird to look at when you're using a different base value. So that's base 6. There's lots of different bases. We're counting down and slowly getting to base 2, which is binary, which is what computer languages are based off of. And we're slowly getting there, number by number. We're doing base 5 next. See you next video. Come along and watch.